Good morning, Edmonds Woodway, and welcome to the WBN, the Warrior Broadcasting Network. I'm your anchor, Mr. Mint. Good Thursday morning to everybody. Best day of the week. All right, everybody. What do you call a hill made of cats? A mountain. Yep, a mountain. I'll be here all week. Here's an announcement from yearbook. Seniors, your senior quotes and your senior portraits are due on Monday, December 14th. Yep, that's the Monday right after this weekend. So make sure you get those in. Directions for submitting both of these items can be found in Canvas on your Home of the Warriors class. See the yearbook module. Freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, if you did not get your portrait taken at the beginning of the year, you can submit your own portrait to be included in the yearbook. Your deadline is also Monday, December 14th. Directions for submitting are in Canvas in the Home of the Warriors class. And did you know that this year's yearbook is currently on sale? For 30 bucks, you can get your yearbook for this year, and you can do that up until December 31st. Here's a reminder from the library, a reminder that you can get library books right here from the old, uh, your own E-Dub library. We have the big winter break coming up, so you want to stock up on your books so you can have some great reading over the break. Get your order in by 11.59 p.m. on Tuesday. and Pick up is on Wednesday from 11.45 to 12.45 and 4.30 to 5.30. If the giving season is here, join a group of volunteers for a community drive through for new unwrapped toys, sweatpants, blankets, and to be entered to win a $100 Amazon gift card with your donation. It happens Saturday, December 12th from noon to 3 p.m. The drive is taking place on 84th Avenue West left of the Five Corners Roundabout, in front of Active Foot and Ankle. We have big news from the music department. Edmonds Woodway High School is proud to announce that Tali Kamani has been named a 2021 National Young Arts Foundation Award winner in the merit level and in the category of piano. Tali Kamani is among 659 early career artists from across the nation that will receive unparalleled creative and professional development support throughout their careers. Congratulations to Tali for this very prestigious honor. Now let's take it to Bruce for sports. Thank you, Mr. Mint. Uh, Seahawks had a tough time, tough outing this last Sunday, and they need to right the ship this weekend as they attempt to regain the lead in the division. The Huskies also had some trouble. They fell to Stanford for their first loss of the year. And the Cougars made it a Pacific Northwest losing trifecta by also losing a game this last weekend, and they hope for a better outcome this weekend. Attention all the EWHS student athletes, dates for the WIAA sports season have been pushed back to the following dates. Winter sports begin February 1st, fall sports March 15th, football starting on March 8th, spring sports April 26th. Please note that these dates are subject to change. So stay tuned. In the meantime, be sure that you're staying active and be getting ready for when the seasons open up. Also remember that cheer and dance are happening virtually right now. Cheer is happening on Wednesdays from 3.30 to 4.30. Contact Coach Libby LeCompte for the Zoom link. And dance happens on Thursdays from 4.30 to 5.30. Coach Kat Lewis is the coach. You can contact her for the Zoom link. Now, here is a teacher feature from Emma and Sanjana. Take it away, Emma. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mant. And here we are with Ms. Tucker. How are you, Ms. Tucker? I'm fine. It's nice to see some faces on the screen. <laughs> All right, so how long have you been teaching here at Edmonds Woodway High School? This is my sixth year at Edmonds Woodway. Wow, that's a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, random question, what's your favorite activity outside of school or teaching? Well, the pandemic has definitely put some limits on that. And um, I've become quite a TV junkie, watching all kinds of things. I just finished up um, Queen's Gambit, which I just loved. So yeah, I kind of like stumbling on these different shows. I know I should say I, I'm reading Charles Dickens in the evenings because I'm an English teacher, but I'm not right now. 
Yeah, Queen's Gambit was a great one. I think we've all become TV addicts throughout these times. Um, so another question, what is your favorite thing about teaching? Oh gosh, it's just the interaction with the students and um, being at the high school, actually seeing them over the course of four years. You know, Emma, I met her when she was a freshman and here she is a senior conducting this interview. Um, I came from College Place Middle where I just got to know the kids for two years, but then I didn't know how they finished, you know, how high school finished off for them. So this has just really been fun to follow the kids for four years and just see what they end up doing with their lives. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so what's one thing you would want your students to know either about you, your class, or just high school in general? Well, high school, what do I want to say? It's just a moment in your life development. And I know right now it seems like it's everything. And I know for a lot of students, high school just isn't panning out how you had thought it might you know, in light of these limitations right now, but it shouldn't define the rest of your life experiences. There's so much more out there. Um, if we were all together, I would just tell kids to, to take, more, take more risks with your learning, um, participating in student activities and finding out that um, things that are a little uncomfortable often end up paying big dividends. And um, I'm here to help. And I just love it when students come back and check in after they've left my classroom and let me know how they're doing or what direction they're headed off to. And so the relationships are just invaluable. And I feel blessed that I have gotten to work with so many students over the years. Yeah, absolutely. That's some great advice. And I know the students feel the same way. Mm -hmm. um, thank you so much for interviewing with us. And back to you, Mr. Mint. Thank you. Thank you, Emma, Sanjana, and Ms. Tucker. That's it for this week's announcements, everybody. Have a great Thursday, and we'll see you next week right here on the WBN.